Hugh Ray is known as the Switzerland of America. And this is why. It's one of my favorite Colorado destinations. Hi guys, we are in Ouray and we're at Twin Peaks and we're about to meet Dexter the dog. I didn't know Mark had a brewery. Hi, I'm Gail and welcome to Traveling Marlins where it's the best day ever. The purpose of our channel is to connect with people and places by learning, traveling, and just enjoying life. And we have been doing just that. I'm going to put a link right up here to our Colorado playlist. And it is still going on. We have other places to show you, so it's going to grow. But it'll be right up there. And then I'll also put it in the description below for those of you who can't see the link. This week, we've connected with Kenty and her special dog, Dexter, as well as showing you a great place to ride your bike or go hiking or jogging. It's a beautiful trail, absolutely beautiful. And then also a little bit more of the Switzerland of America. So if you don't know what, where that is, stay tuned and you'll see. We're going to start with introducing you to Kenty and her special dog, Dexter. A dear friend, Joanna, went with me to meet Dexter. And unfortunately, I didn't know that we were going to be outside, so I didn't take my mic. And it got windy, of course, so I apologize for the audio in some spots. But it's still a fantastic feature of Dexter and Kenty. If you Google Dexter the dog of Uray, you will be flooded with information about him. And of course, I'll put some links in the description for you. What had happened was when Dexter was one year old, he ran out in front of a moving van, making his front legs unusable. During his recovery, Kenta, his owner, witnessed a miracle when Dexter stood up on his hind legs and walked up the steps of their porch to be with her. He's now eight years old and has been traveling and inspiring people of all ages from around the world. I know we need the mics, dang it. But anyway, we're here to see Dexter, Dexter the yes. dog. So he be should sure be here in any minute, two minutes, if he's punctual. So who knows? I don't know if he is or not. But we're waiting patiently. No, we're waiting <laughs> impatiently. <laughs> Hello, sweet baby. Oh, are you getting tired? No, he knows there's a lip here. Oh, I, oh, I see. See, there's a little lip. Okay. I and see. He, he knows that. Like, he'll, he'll walk around. Always goes down there. So oh. he's at elevation. He's like, oh, okay, I don't like this. Okay, and then and he'll get his balance again to come this way. Okay. So he, he knows there's a little lip here because he kind of tripped on it once, and he was like, oh, never again. Okay. So that's what he does. He wa looks like a little human most of the time. Like he'll walk in the house and just be like, tick, tick, tick. <laughs> <laughs> you'll hear the little two on the wood floor. You'll hear here's two little paws. <laughs> oh. Right, so it's fused right here. So he has this to mo this motion and this motion. That's where, why you see him kind of moving a little bit on the three. The other one that's there. Is his pen. Yeah, so it's kind of like he has a peg leg. And so as we were doing all that, it had about he had about a year of different surgeries with this front leg. The vet really wanted it to be able to have that full range of motion, but it just didn't happen. Um, so then he finally pinned it, and then once he pinned it. Um, first set of small pins, it was like puppy sized pins, and uh, Dexter just went right through those pins. 
oh. like he broke them. So then they had to do a thicker set of pins. So it's a whole like <laughs> what we should do with this leg and the elbow. Yeah. Yeah, so he ran right in front of a, of a moving van. Oh. Yeah. He had escaped the yard. My husband had just found him. I was like, oh, good, there's Dexter. And Dexter had his little nose on a deer scent, and the deer must have crossed right there, and he just went literally right across both lanes in front of the car. And he caught his, just his legs. We had a full x-ray before. We were like, what do we do with this dog? He has to be baby. You're so such an inspiration. Have you seen Dexter? No, we were just flying back from Mesa Verde just to try to get here. Oh. We had 40 minutes of traffic in Mesa Verde because yeah. they're doing construction. Oh. We had another we're from New York City. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Oh, well, definitely. He's been out to New York twice. He's been out with New York. We were at Zion a couple of four days ago. We saw it on the right there. So yeah. Like, oh, we're going to be in Norway. Oh, fantastic. fantastic. Oh. <laughs> All right, come on, let's go. Let's do a walk. We'll do a walkabout. God, that's amazing. I love what she said that it's not hurting his back. I love that because I was concerned. Well, not concerned, but you know what I mean. I was wondering about it. Oh, yeah. Well, you would because. You don't see it every day. He's supposed to walk like that? Yeah, yeah. I mean. He has his own vet and his own chiropractor, so they keep him in line. There you go. Tripod, and then he couldn't put weight on that front paw. And um, so finally we had to like dip, put a fixator in it. So there's like this fixator sticking out. All this stuff with him. And yeah. he had his little, he had his little uh, cone of shame on. Yeah. And uh, he was out in the front yard. And I was like, oh, what, you know, what did we do? And is this going to yeah. work? He turns around and he's like, hey. <laughs> Dogs adapt. Like, well, okay. Oh, yes, what do you want? Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Does he ever bark? Oh, yes. D a typical dog. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> you know, the deer go by and he loses it. A stroller goes by, he loses it. Another dog goes by, he loses it. You are just. Right now, out so and about, he won't, he won't bark. Like this one, he won't do that now. But Yeah. Yeah, if he's at the house, he's like, I am protecting you from everything. <laughs> We're like, thank you. Just don't thank run you. out in the street. Just don't do that. Yeah, he, he's an escape artist. There's no doubt. <laughs> yeah. He had, so we have this fence. He had the cone of shame on. He had his leg in a fixator. And I go out to the porch one day, and it was when he was starting to heal really well. And he had thrown, he like, he ended up swimming because he can't bend his elbow. So he ended up swimming his arm over the top of the gate like this. And his legs are like trying to start climbing. I'm like, no, you're done. You're done, man. So has this now become your full-time job? So pretty much. Right I bet now. so. Yeah. I yeah. bet so. We're really looking we're really looking at like what is his uh, sunset years look like. So right. I'm starting to figure out like he, we travel a lot, so how much of that traveling do we keep doing? Right. Do you have an RV or do you stay in hotels? Um, no, right now he flies. Oh, okay. Celebrity status. Nice. He's in the science diet dog food commercials. Oh, he is? Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So. I did not know that I have to pay more attention. Did you know that? No, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't either. Yeah. Yeah, he knows where the treats are. In there. We know where the treats are. He's like, I'm a little food driven. Just a tad. Oh. It is. We were a little slow today, but we're here. Oh, he can sit and sit up. Sit on his hind legs. Hey, sweet baby. Oh. Look at that. So amazing. Could you maybe record when I give her the thing from church? Okay. okay. How do I start? I have to tell you a short thing. Okay. Um, at my church, start the recording. pastor was doing a segment called uh, Obedience.
training, and it's what we learned from our dogs. And he wanted us to tell. Oh, it was great. It was great. And the love that you have between you and your dog and everything. Right. Well, anyway, one of the uh, Sundays, he did a little thing on Dexter. No. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Yes. And so, anyway, I went up to her, and I said, I'm going to be going to your way, and I'm, I'm hoping I'll meet Dexter. And she got all excited, and she said, to go get him something. Okay. So this is from the church. Fantastic. And there's a cat. But what's really oh special? Gosh. These are two crosses. Those are pretty. that were carved in the Holy Family, and they wanted you to have them. Oh, aren't those great? Aren't those beautiful? Yeah, aren't they? And I can't remember what kind of wood it is. Darn it! But it's okay. I know it's from the Holy Land. Wow, that is so special. Yeah, so well, make sure you that. get a couple like pot, extra potographs to take back to your cult crew. Oh, okay. okay. So, I don't know what else we might need for today, but here's like several of them. Oh, bless your heart. So just I love whatever, it. whatever there. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then you can say, "Here's back from Dexter." So <laughs> yeah. You. Thank you. <laughs> I was trying to say pet my baby. Yeah, pet your baby. baby. Yeah, you can say pet my baby. <laughs> I think he thinks he's everybody's baby. You are awesome. so sweet. You are a dog. He just loves it. Yeah, this, this, uh, it's not a segment. I can't even think. The, the church. Anyway, the series. Mm -hmm. The preaching the series. series. That you did. Yeah. Yeah, and it was obedience yeah. training, and they talked about the animals in the Bible, and then, you know, how so we funny. learn from our animals. And then they said, I want you to okay. send in stories about your animals, and I might use it in this sermon. I sent in mine, and he, she used it. That's and so then it was like the next week. She did a thing on Dexter. She said, I saw this on the news. Y'all got to see Dexter. <laughs> and so she did it for the church. That's so neat. Yeah. He's yeah, so he sweet. He's going. He's adorable. And he has no ailments. I mean, no. No. He's he perfectly is like healthy so now. healthy. And That's great. his legs are healthy and his hips are healthy. The vet, or the chiropractor actually said, you know, the dogs that like, go and do the, okay, you don't want it. the dogs that like will go and do fetching of the, um, of like a frisbee uh -huh. and they twist their bodies in a weird way. He said he thinks that that is more dangerous on the spine than just Dexter standing up because he's just using muscles that go straight up so he's able to like stand up and walk around oh, right. versus like he's not twisting in a weird spinal way. Right. Like right, it's, it's just it's, it's this, and he taught himself. That's him. I saw that segment where you said, "How'd you get up here?" And he walked. Is that recording? <laughs> do you know how to do it? I just started thinking. I just handed it to you. Is it on? I don't know if it's recording or not. <laughs> oh, you did great! It is. <laughs> Your face went to you. No, I'm teasing. <laughs> You're doing great. Maybe somebody can hold a camera and both of us could get with Dexter. I would love that. Definitely. Okay, we're going to go let you see your new buddies. You're oh, thank you. Thank you for the stuff. I will. I'll tell the church. Yeah. Your Ray is located in southwest Colorado and it sits at 7,800 feet. It's surrounded by beautiful mountains that reach up to 12,000 to 13,000 feet. It's a beautiful location and that is why they call it the Switzerland of America. It lives up to its name. Getting ready to go to Maggie's, Maggie's Cafe on Main Street. We've heard it's really good. It's a hamburger place. So we're going to check it out. Uh, 
Oh, we're here. Is this it? was a good lunch. I had a hamburger, just a regular old hamburger, cooked well, and the coleslaw, and Mark got a hamburger with bacon and french fries, right? Yes. And it wasn't bad for a touristy town, $26. And that's everything. Well, that's not bad, considering when we went the other day and got the same thing, basically. Plus, I had a little beer. And it was $50 for lunch. Whoops. Where are we parked? There we are. As many of you know, I love to cycle. I have a road bike that I keep at home and then we travel with my mountain bike. I always look for trails when we go somewhere. And I use about three or four apps on my phone to find different trails and for whatever reason, most of my apps didn't find this one, but one of them did, and it's called the Uncompadre, uh, let's see, Uncompadre Riverway Trail. Right now it's 14 miles long, it's concrete, but the plan is for it to connect to a trail in Montrose, which is like 30 miles away. But once they connect those trails, the grand total of the trail will be 65 miles, which will be fantastic. I picked up on the trail in Ridgeway at a, a city park that they have there and then I rode it to the Ridgeway State Park and I ended up riding, I'll have to look at my mileage, but my plan was to ride about 30 to 40 minutes out, turn around and then go back because I was running out of time. It was late in the afternoon. It's a beautiful trail, so take a look at some of the highlights. I promise you the best way to get to know an area is with a little bike ride. They have neat sculptures along the way. I'll have a good tailwind on the way back. Oh, pretty. Bumpy. Whoa. Bumpy, bumpy. I can be in a bad mood and then get on a little bike ride and I feel so much better. It's just good for the soul. Good to get out in nature, take in God's world. And it is beautiful. I wish I had time to go this entire way. It's late in the afternoon and we are leaving this place and we will be going to Montrose tomorrow. It's not going to be a long trip though. Only about 30 miles. What is this? Oh, it's the name of that river. Riverway Recreation Site. This is like a boardwalk. Swampy down there. Oh. I came to the end of the path. And I don't know which way to go. There's old painted, uh, whoops bike uh, symbols on the road. So it must go this way. Bulldog found it. Oh, isn't this beautiful? 
the river is down to the left. I believe I'm in the Ridgeway State Park area. And there's a lake down here. And there it is, or some of it. I turned my bike around and then look at that view. See if I can zoom in. Gorgeous. That's all we have for this week. Don't for forget to subscribe so you'll get notifications of when we put out videos if you change the bell to the black bell if you don't want notifications change it to none but you're not going to know when we drop content so highly suggest that you change it to the black bell and next week we are leaving your ray and we're going to montrose colorado and we'll be there for a couple of weeks and we're going to hook up with some really good friends there during the second week so see you then have a safe week, safe travels if you're traveling, and we'll see you next time. Remember, have the best day ever. Bye.